My first installation was one that I created out of found materials in on the beach in Santa Cruz, so driftwood and seashells. I then painted the seashells with faces of various colors. The faces represented to me imaginary friends I had growing up and people who lent me happiness. As a child, you have endless amounts of imagination and curiosity, which is where I kind of tie the materials into the work itself. I was raised at the beach, surfing, swimming. I'm from Santa Monica, so we're not too far from the beach. Um, and I'm really grateful for that. And it was just a place of curiosity and really helped me foster such a vivid imagination that I had. My second installation was pill bottles that I then decorated with polymer clay and sculpted them to look like faces. I then baked the clay and painted on them. The pill bottles represent a lot to me because of mental health struggles that I've had in the past and growing up. And my imagination never went away, but it certainly was dulled for moments in my life, whether I was, you know, battling my depression or whatnot. And so now these are a very big part of my life. They help me feel happy and regain this kind of inner child curiosity for the world and imagination that I missed for so long. The bottles also represent my want to destigmatize certain aspects of mental health, such as taking medication. Since it is such an integral part of my life right now, I thought that being able to kind of decorate them and make them kind of funny and not as scary as a lot of people think they are was important. I also wanted to continue with the faces because I really wanted to convey the idea that we still are imaginative beings. That didn't go away. I think that my imagination has now been pushed into other aspects of my life, such as my desire to do art and art as an outlet, um, which is why I wanted to turn my pill bottles into art. And I guess the greatest takeaway I had doing this project was that I'm not different than I was when I was eight or nine, hanging out with my imaginary friends. That person is still inside of me. I've just now been able to grow and change with life experiences and whatnot. And it's very interesting to look back and see, you know, my inner child still come out occasionally, especially during this work and being able to like paint with clay and make fun faces. So it was very interesting and I really enjoyed the entire process.